I'm from reading the radio, and I want to clone the features on this radio to other radios. What I've got is right here. I have misspelled intentionally the word law. I'm going to send it out to a couple of radios as an example of what you can do with this. I'm going to go out to my dash program list. I'll enter a radio ID here. set up I should back up for a second. I'm gonna set up a dash for that. It's already got my path there. I'm going to enable the ARS so that I can get my IP addresses for the system. Is on the PN server. No choice we should have. It is a clear connection at this point. I'm going to add that radio to the list. And that radio to the list happens to be my entire list. We're going to do two retries for failed radios just to give it a chance. We're going to write protect the radios. If they are already right protected, so I'm going to revoke that. And I'm going to start that back.
Okay, now we're going to see what happened when we programmed these. I'm going to change the zone. Mutually zone four. S stack four. Law. Zone six. The name of that zone is Law. Happens to be on OPD main, but the important part is the the zone says law. We'll check this one as well. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this one off. Display goes dark. I'll turn it back on. You'll see the radio reaffiliate. And it says that it's programming. It's updating. It's code plug. Law zone six. Oshkosh PD main. Whoops. You'll notice that the on this one it's on the zone is law. On that one it's misspelled. And it says Wally. We'll have to correct that. But that would be an indication of how you would go about changing, for instance, a zone name using OTAP programming. We'll do the same thing on this one, is we will turn this off. You notice that up until now I've been using this, I could have used this as a radio talking, whatever I wanted to do. When I turn it off and back on, it's going to tell me that it's reprogramming by virtue of says it's updating the code plug. I could key it now and it would work, but it's uh, we don't want to interrupt it. We'll just let it go ahead and do it. This one also says the new mode name, or excuse me, zone name of Wally. So now they're on Wally zone and on whatever channel they're on. So we, we successfully reached out through OTAP, we scheduled a session, we made our change, we entered the ID numbers of the units we wanted to reprogram. I did put those on a talk group that is not being used right now so that we could allow them to do it without getting interrupted by voice. And obviously these are not being carried out in the field, but they were not connected to anything other than the air, and that's how we programmed them. So we have successfully changed the zone name on two radios using the OTAP session and batch programmed them.